this video, I'm going to show you how we can take a previously released video here on YouTube and improve everything. The tags, the title, the description, even the video file. So let's go. When you start releasing videos on YouTube, you don't know a whole lot about how everything works. So your titles, your description, your tags, and yes, even your video editing may leave a little bit to be desired, but don't fret. You can actually change almost all of that right here in YouTube without re-uploading your video and without losing all of those views. And yes, you can even use YouTube's built-in video editor to trim and remove parts of the video that you don't want. In this one, we're going to to talk about five things, titles, descriptions, tags, thumbnails, and video editing. So let's dive in. First up, let's look at the title of this one, Compressed versus Uncompressed Audio Files. What is the difference? Now, this is 64 characters of the 100 characters that YouTube allows us. I think we need a slightly snappier title. So let's change that up right now. There you go. I think that title is much clearer. Compressed versus Uncompressed Audio Wave versus MP3. Now, I use a service called Tube Buddy, and that's what's clued me into these tips and techniques about having simpler and shorter titles. So if you want to check out TubeBuddy, you can see it's a browser plugin. It goes right here into Chrome. You can check it out and download it for free down in the description. Speaking of descriptions, this is a very old description. You can see here that it has a lot of information looking kind of boring. So I'm going to use the template that I've developed over many years here again with recommendations from best practices across a bunch of YouTubers as well as YouTubers using TubeBuddy. So let's jump over to my notes app and copy that new description over to this video. Let's click here in the description. We're gonna hit Control or Command A to highlight everything. And we're gonna paste in what I've just copied over. So you can see here, I've got download the plugin. Well, that's not relevant. This isn't about a plugin this video, so we can delete that. We do want timestamps left in there because we're going to add those to our description. And then these are all of the default things that I put in here. The only thing left to do is right at the top here, we need a description. Now, the important thing with descriptions is that they should say similar but a little bit more information to your title. So we're going to craft a description now to be the first couple of lines that will show up in our search terms. All right, there we go. So this time we've put a little more information. What is the difference between compressed and uncompressed audio wave MP3 M4A? So this should be a sentence that makes sense to a human, but also has some search terms in there because this is what's going to go into the search engines like YouTube and Google and other places but it's also going to be above that line when people are actually looking at the videos when they're searching for them. I've also added in, you can see here, the second line here generally should be a link to either a website or another video because you wanna create a little bit of a watch party. You want people to be watching more of your content or going over to a website. So in this one, I've just said more recording tutorials are over at my website, which is studiolivetoday.com. The rest of the description here are things that I use on almost every video. So we've got the ability to subscribe, we've got other related videos, my gear guide, and then all of the resources and how to connect with me. So this is what we should be having on pretty much every video because when folks have watched a video, if they want to find out more information, they're going to jump down to the description. Now, if you want to borrow this, please borrow with pride and use it in your own videos because guess what? I probably borrowed it from other creators. It works for me and it may work for you. Let's hit the save button in the top right corner here to save in those changes. Now, before I add my timestamps, I'm going to do a couple of other things. I need to edit my video and check out my tag. So let's do the video editing first. So we go down to the editor option here and what we can do from here is we can actually edit the video, people think once you've released a video, you can't change it. Well, that's kind of true. You can't add anything to your video, but you certainly can remove things. So I've watched this video. It's five minutes, 13 seconds. I think we can cut this down. So I'm going to go through and do some editing here to remove some parts that we don't need. Now, there is a complete video showing you how to do this. You just need to trim, use this trim tool here. So we're going to jump in here. We're going to hit the trim button here, and we can actually trim either the front or the start. We can use the 
split option here to split it out as well. And all of that is explained down in the description in the other video. Let's go ahead and do this now. So there you go, we've done all those cuts and you can see there were six different spots there between the edits where I just left too much time. So it's not going to reduce the overall time too much, but it's definitely going to tighten up this video. We're gonna hit the save button now. Now here's where you gotta be paying attention. The original version of the video is stored when you hit save, so you can undo your edits. So if you do wanna go back, you can. Let's hit the save button. The other thing to keep in mind here is if it's a live stream, you may see a save as button there. That just means you need to wait an hour or two before before you do this editing process because it hasn't processed that live stream video yet. So just sit tight and as soon as it's finished that, you have the save option. If you hit save as, it's gonna create a brand new video. You probably don't want that. I'm not gonna be able to add my timestamps here. I've just realized that because it does take an hour or two to process that. So I'm gonna remove those for now. It's only a five minute video. It won't really need them. So we'll hit the save button there. I'm gonna come back and add them after the fact. If you don't know about timestamps, all that means is that you just need to put in the time of the video. So you need to start with 0000, and you might put introduction, and then at the time where you start talking about a different thing, you can put that in there. And if you put them in that format, it's gonna bring up those little familiar sections at the bottom of your video that are gonna help out your end viewer. All right, let's scroll down and take a look at our tags. Now, tags used to be super important on YouTube they're now a little bit less important. But you can see here that all of the tags that I had on here before, they have a little green number next to them. Now this is TubeBuddy, and this is telling me which of these tags are actually sort of coming up in search terms in YouTube or in Google. So what I wanna do here is actually keep the tags that are getting decent numbers here, but a lot of these other ones are a bit dodgy, especially these ones down here. So I can start removing some of these. So you can remove them just by hitting that X there. Now, every time you remove one, it kind of redoes it. So all of these smaller names here, I'm just going to start removing, and then we're gonna add in some more relevant tags to make this video more searchable and findable here on YouTube. So I've used the X there to remove a bunch of these, and now we can try some new versions. Now, if we scroll down, it'll give us a few different ideas down here. So if you want to just use the examples that are given here by TubeBuddy, you can. I'm going to try some others based on this. So I think things like wave versus mp3 might be a good one here and you can see as you type that in tube buddy gives you different options down here so we're going to put wave versus mp3 there and if we do wave versus m4a and it may take a little bit of time but eventually it will analyze these and work out are these search terms that are going to actually be found as well and it won't be the same for everyone every time but it's a good indication that you're getting your tags right and there you go with a little bit of effort we've found some other cool search terms here that people may be actually searching for on YouTube. And hopefully, if we get the thumbnail right, they'll actually find and then click on our video because it's gonna answer the question that they're putting out there. Now, this thumbnail is okay, but it's got my old style here. It's a little bit dated looking. It's so 2019. So let's create a new thumbnail here. Now, I use Canva.com. So let's go over to Canva.com and see what we can create. Now, Canva is a free tool that you can use. There's also a page version, the pro version, which is what I use that just has a whole bunch more different fonts and images and a bunch of options. So start with the free version. If you dig it, check out the link below and sign up for the pro version. You can see I use it for all of my different thumbnails and all of the stuff that I do here when it comes to design work. What I tend to do is just grab a thumbnail that's worked well before and we're going to make a copy of that one. I'm going to then grab the name here and we're going to change the name of this one here like so to a uh, thumbnail and this one we're just going to put wave versus mp3 we'll open it up and then i'm just going to remove what i put in this one so we can put anything we like in thumbnails but what i've found lately is that the simpler the better when it comes to thumbnails so i'm actually going to make this a really really simple thumbnail i'm going to put a big w a v there and we're going to then put wave versus mp3 with a little graphical image here just to represent what we're saying now the cool thing about canva is you can see i've just put wave file here and we've got a bunch 
bunch of recommended images and logos here to keep things super simple. So let's try a few of these and see if we can find something that looks cool. Now, I actually kind of dig this one. I don't normally go for 3D stuff, but let's just experiment with this. Now, it's got this background here, but the cool thing is with the pro plan on Canva, we can go to edit image and we can use the background remover tool. Now, this is only on the pro plan. So if you're on the free plan, you won't get this. You'll have to use it. some other sort of transparent PNG option, but this is going to remove that different colored background and we should get something like this, which I think is pretty darn cool. I think that's kind of what we're looking for there. So we'll just center that image and make it look like it should be there. We've got a little sideways thing there with a wave versus MP3. And the thing with YouTube these days is less is more. When it comes to thumbnails, you generally want a simpler thumbnail. I used to use a lot of graphics, a lot of images, a lot of like pictures and text and no, you just want simple. So we're going to go with this and see how it works. Cause you know what? A lot of YouTube is trial and error. We're going to download this one. We're going to do it as a PNG file so that we can upload this to our YouTube video. To change our thumbnail, we just scroll on down here and here's the spot. So there's the old version and let's bring this sucker here into the 21st century. And Boom, how much better does that look? And the thing to think about is when people are scrolling, they're usually on their phones or their tablets these days, often in portrait mode. So you need things that are going to stand out. And this, with the title there, Compressed versus Uncompressed Audio, is going to do a lot better than that old clunky thumbnail that we had before. There you go, we've enhanced the title, we've enhanced the thumbnail, the description, the tags, and we've even edited a video that's already been released. A lot of cool things we can do here in YouTube. The only thing to do now is to sit back and wait because it will take an hour or two for all of this to update. But here's the cool thing, if you're watching this video, it's already updated. You can check out that video right now in that link down below or in the description. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.